Okay, so for this one we have the uh, Sea Shanty. I think that's how it's pronounced, Shanty. Uh, and this is a sailor song, so a good old sailor song on this one. We have the uh, theme and then also our var variations here. So definitely with our sailor song, we're gonna do like a... <laughs> There at the top left, we have our cut time review. So we have a C and then a line through it. That means that we're going to be using our two, two times. So two half notes. We'll count on these a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So making sure that we count those all the way through on our variations as well. Uh, on this one, I think it looks like on the theme and then variation one, we have a lot of little kind of hand switches and adjustments here. Let's do the left hand first on the theme. So we have our number one on that uh, B. And then if you notice on measure four, we're going to shift down just a little bit to that D major now. Cross over the top, using number two, crossing over to B. And then on measure six, again, another switch. We're going to use that number three on B. So kind of just watching for those uh, switches. If you need to, go ahead and just circle those to kind of help your brain remember where those are. Uh, right hand. We have an E minor. We're going to shift down just a little bit. D major. And then shifting back. E minor. On that measure six, we're also going to shift back down to D. This time we're going to play use your one on that D. and left are kind of doing these little shifts kind of back and forth. Let's do uh, uh, the theme. So starting from the beginning here. Okay, and then we're gonna go right into the variation number one. So on this one, same deal, that left hand is gonna be doing a number of different little shifts here with those uh, finger changes. You're gonna use your number two on B, and then you're gonna play again B using your number one here. So. Then we're gonna go to uh, uh, A. So use your number two on A. We're, we're in the correct position for that. And then we're gonna shift again to one. Going back, use your number two on that B. Switch to one. Okay, and then we have on measure 15, we have our uh, five, seven, four. Remembering that we have that D, D sharp there, D sharp, A, B, and then we have the E minor chord. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the uh, right hand now. So right hand is E minor. On that next measure, we have uh, shifting down just a little bit, D major. Remember your F sharp. Same thing. 13 back up to E minor. B, A, G, remember your F sharp, B, and then we have a little shift there, use your number three. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that one on both hands. Remember also our timing, one, two, one, two, one, Variation number one. Let's go to the uh, variation number two. Uh, if you notice on this one, the left hand we have that E minor, and then also we're going to shift down just a little bit to D, and then we're going to shift back up to E. So on the left hand, we're just kind of shifting back and forth, E minor, and then to D major. On the right hand, we have E, we have those eighth notes. Shift down just a little bit using number four on D. Shifting back up to E. Also noticing on 23, we're going to shift using number uh, five, that pinky there. This is our E minor scale that we were practicing, I think, yeah, on the previous page. Once we reach that E, we're going to do our skips here. E, G, B, E. So kind of watching for those skips there. Okay, and then I think that's it. 
same thing kind of one, two, one, two. Oops. Okay, and then last one, let's go ahead and go to variation number three. So the left hand, we're gonna shift down all the way down to like a low E minor position. We're gonna hold these one, two, remembering that our cut time here, one, So that one we have just a little bit of a shift down to that D and back up to E. Uh, if we go all the way to the end here, we're gonna go all the way down. We have an 8 BA on that left hand going E minor. Okay, and then the right hand we have that E minor. Shifting down D major. Back up to E minor. On this one, we're gonna to shift to kind of like a G position. You have a little bit of a stretch. This is our six interval. So remembering that interval, this one, D, B, A, cross over the top using number three, G, E. Also two, we have a, a interval here. This is a fourth, B and E. So it's also two, like we have a little bit of pedal. So I'm gonna see if we can throw in a little bit of pedal. I don't think we have any pedal on the other ones. So let's throw in a little bit of pedal here. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start from the beginning. All again, one, two, one, two. And that's about it. Also too, when you're playing these, kind of watch for the uh, dynamics. Uh, on this last one especially, you have a fortissimo and then like a fortissimo, I think. So really, really loud on that one, as loud as you can go. Also, too, kind of watching for any dynamics. You have a piano, a mezzo piano on variation two, variation one. You have a forte, a mezzo forte, and then looks like just a forte on the uh, theme there. So a lot of stuff going on. You have watch for your slurs, staccatos. Uh, your dynamic marks and also it looks like a little bit of pedaling on that last one and also you have so a little bit of fermatas uh, I think just those last notes have the fermatas so I think that's about it kind of just remembering your cut time here as well as the E minors and D major kind of shifting back and forth with those for both ones and that's it <laughs>